pays oh. while you look at VP's side. They want to be a little bit more farm heavy. Sure, they can take fights and they can get a little bit of an advantage early game because of that Night Stalker, but it will be a little bit harder. Without any further ado, let's get in and familiarize ourselves with the lineups on VP. We'll have Ramses in the position one gyrocopter solo around the map on the Night Stalker, actually, in fact, himself, Lil on the Rubik. Something I feel that we don't get to see as much as, as we would like to. It's going to be exciting. No one on the, the Tinker mid and finally for VP9 Pasha once again on the puck. Had a very solid showing last game despite the loss. We'll see if we can do it again here. And over on EG Arteezy struggled on the Lycan the other day. He's going to try it again this time round. See if the situation could certainly look to be a little bit better for him. And Samel on the mid DP. Universe great game on the back game one. Let's see what he can tie. 30 seconds mm -hmm. to battle. Ivan. Finally, crit. Gonna slither around and make the plays. Slada, what's going on here? Little They're just having advertising. fun. They're just being nice. They're advertising for each other. They're with TV. They're just having a good Twitch time. Twitch, if man. you have a list, apparently. Twitch. Crit will uh, make sure that you, ladies and gentlemen, know where to find Samel in his downtime on his stream. Of course, all of these, but a large majority of these players do a fair bit of streaming. So be sure to check them out. Smart. Looks like uh, EG might take a page out of Liquid's book here, and they're, so they're going to send RTZ safe lane, but looks like the supports are going to be playing around the other lanes for the most part and leave him kind of in a 1v1 matchup. We've seen Matu do it several times on the Lycan, so it does seem like that will be probably what they want to do, and I say then Fear actually ports top. He wants to secure it a bit more. Pasha, looks like he wants to cut the creep wave. Should be able to successfully do that. That's mid lane. Now. We'll have Crip in the neighborhood. Let's see how this two on two goes down. Tinker DP, Rubik, the Slada, and this straight mid. Up top, Passion, did you say getting successful? to take quite a bit of a beating. Yeah, the Arctic oh. Burn early on is pretty ridiculous how much damage it can do. But he does get the successful pull behind the tower, so he will limit a bit of Arteezy's farm. But Arteezy did the same thing. He pulled the creeps actually behind the tower. See, it's a really, it's a really smart thing to do when you are playing versus someone who cuts the creep wave, you have to do something like this or you're going to miss a lot of last hits. Unless so far, see us off the back of the first wave, pretty even between the two mids. Grab onto Samel. Oh, he's under the tower too, but the creep does die. One hit goes on him from the tower. No one does have laser rocket, but they can't get it's enough to burst him down. Lane unit. I'm having to deal with Solo. Just trying to get those pulls as well. Doing the same thing. Got like a mirror coming out from both sides. G supports. Make their way top. Nice on Pasha. Tricky kill. Ooh. But the orb's still there. Dodges both uh, Arctic Burn picks. Both from the spaceship and the orb. Very nicely done by Pasha. He wouldn't die, but still, still a nice little cheeky play. In game one, he had a great showing on the puck when he was farming sort of 1v1 against LTZ. And uh, so far, so good. 5 for 3 against the 4 for 3. Pasha finding a lot of that lane as well. Pasha is putting a lot of pressure on RTZ up top. Oh, look at this mid lane wrap around with Solo. He's got a DD rune looking for some mail. Some mail will be able to back up and hide in the trees. So Solo. Might find the angle that he wants to go in. Look at this creep wave Pasha's got going here. Triple range creep. Putting a lot of pressure onto Arteezy. Arteezy will force to use the salve right away. Yeah, look in the last fights already. DP coming out a bit ahead in the start of this one, having that dual range mid, punishing Sumail. And Gyrocopter versus Tide, also favorable for VP. And Bra Rams is a bit different than uh, than Arteezy is with the Gyrocopter. He tends to actually always go for the Rocket Barrage biz. Well, we see okay. Arteezy, he goes the Missile and the Flak Heading exclusively. Top pass it. Again, just toying with them playing around as yeah. you mentioned. Nice cancel by Crip. Yeah, Crip. Able to outplay there with the crush. Pasha. Not have face shift to no backup. Get himself first blood. Lane, Lil. Drag back onto some mouse. Spirit Siphon. Should be enough to keep him more than safe. Some mail backs away. But uh, definitely, yeah, as you mentioned, the, the, the fact that this gyro is 24 and 11. Perhaps he's getting everything out of this bottom lane. Evidently, Arteezy is suffering a little bit with CSing the pressure of Pasha. 
Yeah, I know you had said it in the beginning too, but I just realized I, it just like clicked in my head. Solo's playing Night Stalker. Yeah, right. Yeah, and Lil's playing Rubik. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's... It took me a moment actually just to. I mean, because I, I was in the past, we've seen Lil do some great things on the Rubik. Yes. Like, sort of a long time ago, I remember some stuff like, like the Frankfurt Major. Yeah, I think it comes down to farm priority in this one. They want to have the Rubik sure. more farmed than the Night Stalker. Just so we can get those steals off on the Exorcism. Ah, Ramsey's down. Wow. And fear, make the rotation. That. Upper universe. They they take Ramses out, they catch him whilst the supports are elsewhere for VP. They've started to move around towards mid. As you see an opening, and they, they capitalize it. That gush leveling, level three. Same VP going in on Zemail, and as soon as they lose their core down bottom, they'll take it a core in mid. So the rotation. Fantastic use of the first night. Crit as well. Quick crush. That's fear around as well. So Solo will not continue. Solo just trying to maximize what he can get done during this first night. He looks back towards mid lane. A second time in a row would be beautiful for BP. They have the drag back. They have the damage. The siphon is not enough to save some mail. A second pick off on mid. Solo. I mean, that is the truth. This is the first night. You kill the mid twice. Yeah, this might be the most farm we'll see Solo in a long time. He's already at like 1500 net worth. He's got the last two kills. Fool me once. Yeah. Only twice. That's Sumail having no TP up to go back to the mid lane too. Perfectly oh, executed. Space. Yeah. For no one. Altiz is getting a bit of a chance to catch back up, but he's, he's still behind that, that farm of Ramses. Yep. Again, I mean, we saw in game one, BP just seemed to be very comfortable with uh, the movements in the laning stage, and on just a bit of a different level to that of EG yeah. in the early game. Regardless they... of the heroes, apparently. They are bottom very right. dominant. Bottom now. Solo going in. This comes out. It's BP. The Rocket Barrage and the mass amounts of lockdown. It's going to be close, but it's not quite enough. The Wyvern turning up. BP back away. They know they can't continue for the kill. Ram is getting slowed down. Splinter Blast connects as well. Crit trying to move in for the crush. Can't quite close the gap. The Across the Rocket Barrage and EG do back away. Neither side losing anyone. The Nighttime Howl as well playing in there for Universe. Just that 200 burst of health that he gets. Peace! 13 for 18 against the 17 for 5. Look at Samael's Solo, he's hasted. Again. He's moving in. Samael no TP. has had an absolute nightmare with no his movement from Solo. Four heroes surrounding him and BP again. Beautifully targeting Samael. Three times they've taken him down. And when it's a death profit, you cannot afford to get behind. And, and the fact that this Tinker's getting ahead, this is BP once again making some top class movements. Yeah, this is going to be very early boots of travel coming out onto yeah. no one here. He's already about 600 gold away. Bottom lane, Ramsey's crit. Finds the crush. Don't think they can close the gap on him, though. And there is vision in that bottom lane, too. They get, they got the ward behind the tower, so they do see that fear and crit are lingering in the area. Denied. He's only trying to put more pressure onto Ramses. Yeah, he breaks the clarity there with the gush. Another one though. Can I actually commit the call down? Right, they do get the initial slow. Void as well. The reveal of fear on the sidelines. Ramses backs up, so they're also having to retreat. TP in part easy. He's ready to fight. He's ready to chase. He'll turn towards Solo. Solo goes up to the high ground. There's four heroes that Solo's trying to do his best to make sure they have to work as, as hard as possible to get the kill. And they will get it with the crusher and crit holding solo in place RTZ does finally get the kill yeah this doesn't I think that was like a play to kind of force a reaction because they look like we were mentioning you know they saw the support sitting behind him but they tried to commit anyway so RTZ gets the kill up alleviates Pasha top to get much more farm even though he's been farming excellent up there three of the top four for VP again in this early game score three to three though EG is punching back a bit No one level seven already. Sumail about to hit level six though. Not so too massive experience lead, but he's a tinker in a very early losing travel, as we mentioned before. 200 gold away from those, and he can get involved. He can look around to join his Night Stalker's rotations to get some kills with that magic damage burst. I mean, if this tinker gets ahead this game, how how easy is it? Do you think, would you say for EG to actually be able to deal with the tinker that's ahead and catch him out? It will be pretty tough, yeah, because yeah. it's really going to be up to Slaughter getting a good tag early on. Ramsey's bottom. Three 
three-man cooldown will hold easy back. Silence Watch goes in for a quick poke. We'll back away. Yeah, it will, it will be pretty tough, though, to catch here. They have to be yeah. really set up either with aggressive wards on the, you know, Tinker wards, as we like to call them, or, like, Winter Wyvern using the flight to get the vision. And a Night Stalker. All right, uh, Slaughter with the Blink Dagger. So, they managed to find the side. Pasher and Lil jumping in, looking for Universe. Oh, it's so close. Can he get out? He's got the Infused Raindrop back again. They go for the nuke. They're chasing. They've got the orb there, Pasha. He'll pop it. Closing the gap. Doesn't make the connection with the orb. And the raindrop. Saving him for now. Another right so click. Close. He needs another. One more. He needs another. He's, <laughs> He's living. not going to get it. Dyer's Universe. Is Lil actually. Walk it off. Lil uh, had the defensive no field on when they initiated that, so the amplified spell damage wasn't there at the beginning when they threw out all their burst spells. I think they probably thought that they had him anyway, but. Very tanky here off bottom solo. Will he get away with the TP? Oh nope. no! So close. The last millisecond and crit gets him with a crit. That was easy. That was very close. Very and they close. Transition into a push. Very nice moves for PG. TP though. They are split up on the other side. They are getting their own gains. Heavily stacking actually we see. Coming out from the uh from Lil's Rubik on the left side there, triple. Medium camp. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Turn that tower. Radiant's Catches Sumail back up a bit. He was, he was struggling, but now he will have those phase boots finished up. Artes is well top of the network board despite Dyer's having top the, the, the easiest of starts in lane. The CS. Double damage. And he's of course working towards the Mask of Madness, trying to get the pace going with his farm. They will look to hold this game off whilst EG, they want to keep pressure on and get these early objectives. Yeah, getting early towers, it's the same thing we kind of mentioned and touched upon in the last one, is getting these early tier ones gives you access into those agents, which is a very important aspect of farming. There you go, here comes the big bad wolf, looking for rounds, these mass TPs coming through though. But the cooldown, he's yet to back off, they can't die for the kill. Ramses will be allowed to get back to safety. Oh, pop down, they caught solo on the side, Pasha. Goes for the setup. Does he have any enough follow-up damage? He's close to bringing down crit. Not quite enough. The rocket flying in will Won't not be. be enough to finish off crit. So EG do all survive. They don't get that kill on Ramses though. BP doing a good job keeping the gyro up. Yeah. Artizi looking pretty scary already so far. The 4800 net worth, having the book early. He had that DD as well in that fight too. So he just like ran at Ramses and put a lot of fear into him. Five for three, Ramses to the mid lane tier one. DR around, middle tower the line under Jar at the moment. Universe. Seven, first major item. Yep. No ancient stacks on either sides just yet. Not for either the Tidehunter nor the Gyrocopter. Haste! Too much battling's been going on. Fear now claiming the bottom lane, trying to get his level six on that wyvern. Follow is in the area though. Is under they do have the blue to travel. No one wanted to try to do some aggressive move there, but yeah, the wave. Very close. Good night time now for another about four minutes. So it's gonna be a good time. A little bit of a slower pace this time around. Now that you've anything to say, we'll I certainly feel like it will benefit BP in the long run. In the long run. Like this, this Tinker's having a pretty free game. It will be very dependent though, because now EG can just Dyer's go for Roches, because they have Corrosive Haze, attack. they have Book, and I think that Radiant might just be what they're doing here. Getting Exorcism as well. People probably won't expect this. Let's see if they head over. Lil just stacking up the Ancients. Okay, this looks like to be a total freebie for EG. Smoke into Roche. Not something that people would expect, or, and if they do, they don't show any sort of We'll play the ages for tonight. Yeah. We said this was one of their focuses with their draft in the beginning of the game, having this Lycan plus Slaughter combo. It's very easy for them to take those horses, especially during night time, to get the bonus health. BP though, looking to farm up a bit. 
ancient, the one ancient stack that was there for BP just gets stolen by Ichi. That what did they have in RTZ? Looking to get aggressive with the ship shift and looking for Lil. Yep, uh, gonna be TP's coming in. Lil falling down low. The Crows of Haze and the Wolves ripping for him. Lil's down. On the side, they look towards Solo. It goes up to the high ground. EG have surrounded him though. And with the Crusher and Crit, they've caught out a second. Solo to fall as well. EG having a much better early game this time around. Still, BP having about a 1k gold lead. But they are playing against an Aegis now, so they have to be a little bit afraid of how they want to take these fights. Ramsey's bottom. There's no two on tower here. Ramsey's is quite out and alone. There's no ship shift though anymore. No, he's also very speedy. Radiant's top tower is under attack. No one is still very farmed though. He has 100 last hits on this tinker in 14 minutes. Getting closer and closer to that blink dagger. But Arteezy's still topping that net worth. Almost gonna have a book of three around the 15 minute mark. They've got a push, they've got a shove, EG. Can't allow VP to, to settle the pace of this game. VP wants to punish Arteezy, knowing that he's the highest net worth. Again, a big wrap around on him. Arteezy is in a world of hurt here. Yeah, they open up straight in, VP. More than enough damage and control to take down the big bad wolf. Oh, he's down. And Lil actually stole wolves. That can be pretty significant with the Tinker bots, especially because they're the invis wolves. So he can do a lot of scouting and they can set up for some Titan of pickoffs that normally they wouldn't be able to get. Crit. It's in trouble here. Solo, closing the gap. He's going to solo kill. Over the urn, he's going to get it. Crit's down. Solo walks in, takes the kill. We're going to have no one TPing in, but he does cancel it on the wolf. Getting too confident we're going in. Some outfit and universe who will punish solo. But in terms of all his resources committed, much easier kill for VP. Yeah, that was send one hero in. I think that was ETS with with a good game for VP for sure. He got a ward down as well right before he made that aggressive play. And Ramsey's doing all this. Quietly farming. He's 0 1 and 0, but 106 last hits, not gonna pressure. Tier 1. Getting close to his Yasha. Dyer's top one, tower so. has fallen. Yeah, blink on Pasha, blink on no one. And set up, try to set up for some decent fights. So no situations where Universe has found an opportunity for Ravage. He has the mech finished on the tide. Easy, looking to get aggressive here. Looking for somebody. He's straight in. I want him back with the dream. Call Lil. Steals the howl. That's for the army chasing him down. He's in trouble. Can they keep this like and back off him? They cannot. Finds the kill. Now turns towards Five Ramsey. Gross and Hayes is down on him. But Arteezy taking a lot of damage. Will get the kill. The well, book. Very low. He's going to survive. Yeah, the call down killed the book. Crit gets cleaned up. No one comes in. Gets both of them with the lasers and rockets. Samael's still hunting as well behind this tower. He is rather low. He's got to be careful of no one coming back in. Pashi jumps forward. He's able to take the Aegis out of the hands of Samael. Almost starting to lay down the marching machines from the high ground. Spam as well from the rockets. Be enough to kill them as they have got the mech from the universe. Community back up to full health. During all this too, Solo is like, good job guys, thanks for the space. I'm Night Stalker, I'm farming bottom. That is one of the issues. That's why we see people pick the Lycan into the Gyrocopter. Not only because when you shapeshift, you can just run him down, but you build book. And yeah. Gyro has uncontrollable damage with the uh, flak call down and rocket barrage. So killing that book gets killed by the last will damage. getting closer and closer to that blue deck as well as slaughter and it's gonna allow EG to be even more aggressive and maybe try to find this tinker but no one's been having a very excellent game as we said a couple times now picking up those kills top he's getting very close to that aether lens he's i think it is getting a little scary for EG in that sense these pushes are not going to, to get any easier with tinker already yeah, absolutely on time with his progression. Yeah, they've only lost one tower, too, yeah. so he has a lot more opportunities to farm around the map and right. push out the lanes safer. I mean, this is a, this, I think it's a big war for EG. Yeah. They, they've got to do something soon. As you say, 18 minutes and only taking one tier one with this DP Lycan lineup. Whilst VP have the Gyro and the Tinker in very good positions. Yeah, and Pasha's, do I mean, Pasha's doing really well on the puck, too. His net worth is a bit behind the Tidehunter, but he's got the blink on his way toward Yules, too. He has a significant amount of their lockdown. It's pretty much Coil and Rubik left as their ways to kind of halt this Lycan, but Arteezy has beat up the BKB as the next choice. He'll just walk out of that Coil. Those heroes down. 
Bounty. And Solo will be going for the uh, Aghanim Scepter on that Night Stalker. Whenever you, you know, we mentioned it yesterday a couple times, but whenever you're playing versus these blinking heroes like Slardar, etc., just being able to get that burn from a distance on them can be quite nice. The vision game with you. When you have Tinker Gyro, you want to be able to Dyer's win the vision game. EG aware that they have to keep Dyer's the pace going. They go for the smoke. Scan comes out though and it catches them. Yeah, VP knows something's coming. How will they react to it? That's the question. No one already let go March. Artizi's starting to send more. Oh, I don't see Ramsey's. Ramsey's been left alone. Straight in with the crush. Ramsey's trying to back up. There's mass TPs coming through. Can they save Ramsey's? They have the lift. It's not enough. Ramsey's is down. Pasha, don't fall. Finds the silence on the Wyvern, but Lil's already gone. EG, move in. Claim a second. So even though the scan hits, they knew some sort of a movement was coming in. BP still paying a heavy price for that. EG get an easy jump. Onto the gyros, Ramses Radiant is sort of just left standing all on his own up front. Yeah, crit with that brand new blink dagger. And the fact that, you know, every time it turns nighttime, sure, BP has some vision, but the double power effect plus a mech. It's a lot of sustain for you guys. Yeah, the silence, with some lasers being crit down low. You see they're backing up there very, very low at the moment. There's no sort of extra catch. So that she walks up, EG with their numbers, they'll just turn and take it. Oops, a little bit of a sort of uncharacteristic plays there from EG in the mid lane with those those last two deaths as they sort of just hand themselves on a plate. To EG. That's exactly the move that you were just talking about that they needed to make, and no one actually with that war that they have there finds the catch onto Crit. He's looking for. He's looking for Artizi too. Oh, he's close. He gets fogged for a second though. Oh, he's been silenced as well. He's in trouble. He has to TP out there. He's he not going to make it. Artizi with the hot, just oh, hiding behind man. that one, like one or two trees yeah. right there, actually saves his life. I mean, that would have been super clutch for no one if he did get the, the kill onto Artur as well. But uh, getting a little ahead of himself and somehow quick with a silence. One of the definitely one of the biggest spells that could cause an issue for the Tinker this game. Yeah. Uh, by that AOE. EG during that uh, aggressive move they made, they've got some very Nice deep aggressive points too. Ramsey's. Ramsey's in a lot of trouble here, getting ran down by RTZ. Well, the telekinesis from Lil's a whole back crit, but indeed it doesn't matter. Ramsey's is gone. A crit and RTZ. They need to chase down a second. They'll get Lil as well. I I feel like the the feet train sort of turned on for VP. Bit of a blunder for sure. Pasha tries to commit in too to clean up crit, but the shrine gets activated just on time. EG finding these big opportunity kills. So hello. Careful. Surrounded by two. Yeah, they're cursing him so that Sumail can close the gap. And EG. They may just find another. He has got the shrine. Three heroes beating down onto him. There's more than enough damage. RTZ will get killed by Pasha. Up top. Pasha goes in deep, takes the kill. And Pasha actually gets out of that as well. Diving in with the dream card. That was the first RTZ down underneath the tower with the help of Noel. Yeah, I think no one came up there. No one gets hit by the wolves. He actually gets used up afterwards. He can't Hopefully blink. He goes for this. He's trapped. And that's going to be no one down again. We saw him die down bottom. He heads up top. He goes down again. This is... Wolves. That time it was the wolves. Just hit him. Cancelled the blink. Oui. Can we have a look at the net worth? I feel like we, this has been a lot of kills for EG over that last sort of two minutes. It definitely has. It's... Look at, look at all those red dots. They're making use of the momentum. As soon as they got the Slardar Blink Dagger, they've just found kill after kill after kill. Radiance top tower is under BP attack. really hemorrhaging it right now. It's 9 to 18, and it's still only a 1k gold advantage though for EG, so BP's not in a bad spot by any means. Again, on to Crypt, making sure he doesn't get a Blink opportunity. Yep. Ramsey's looking to rush a Butterfly as his uh, second item after the Yasha. He's, he still has a good chunk of gold, 3,800. Artizi pops his ult. He's going for Ramses down here. They're just going for the dive, it looks like. No cares. Throws out the purge. Hello. They surround him, and he is getting chunked by the wolf. Ramses down again. EG. There was a, it definitely feels like a few mistakes from VP. Uh, EG have built upon that perfectly. Yeah. They're getting the, the control and, and flow that they need with this game, with this Death Prophet Lycan. Duo call. Yeah, a lot because of, like the warding situation. They have, they have a lot of vision on the, around the bottom side of the map. So every time Ramses goes down there, gets punished heavily. Did he actually? I, th I think he bought the Eagle Song before he died, though. So I don't think he lost too much gold, but still costly. 
still always the chest is going to be for EG if they can eventually break the high ground. Yeah. Mention Jara and Tinka are in a fabulous place. Regards uh, to their item progression, it's Lycan not going to get easy break in the next. Arteezy is definitely a problem though, with the BKB already online, top of the net worth. Now he can just walk through that coil, walk all the way on top of the gyrocopter, and there's not really much they can do to slow him down by any means. Rush comes up, moves to cheese. And Asha actually buys himself a jam on the puck. They're just like, okay, we're getting we're getting like punished too much because of the vision advantage that he has in both the wolves and the words that they got down earlier. They just start trying to find something. Oh, looking there to the bit time. I think he may be falling a little too fast for them to do anything about it. Solo is around. He's going to check it out. But oh, quick, quick with the stun. Links over, catches him outside. Samel commits the exorcism. They want to finish this up quickly and they'll get it. EG take Roshan ages to the hands of Samel. And the chase down is there onto Solo. We'll uh oh, Ramsey. can actually get this. Ramsey getting chased by Arteezy here. And Sumail. Asher is there, but I don't know if he can help him. Solo will end up going down up top on the Night Stalker. And Ramsey's getting chased by this Blink Death Prophet that Samael's bringing out. It really feels like it's just all falling apart for VP. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. They can't slow down this Lycan. He just pops shapeshift and runs at poor Ramsey's over and over again. And yeah, like you mentioned, Samael going for the Blink Dagger build. Since he's versus this Tinker and versus this Gyro, he just wants to pierce into the back lines. Uh oh. Radiance top tower what can BP do? Attack. Come back to this one. They have hemorrhaged a lot of kills in the last it's in the last five minutes. All the pressure I feels on Noah. He's just got to keep this game going with his team. Like, yeah. He's almost three quarters of the way to that agony. So that'll give him a lot more team fight. Because right now their team fight is very minimal. It's just gyro and puck for the most part. And when they're playing versus that really farmed Lycan, it's very hard. He just, he just runs through without any fear. So the next item of choice will be that Agonims for Pasha Radiance so that you can actually halt that Lycan a bit with that uh, Dream Quote break. Pasha. Forward. The Winter's Curse down onto him. He to lock down this puck. Can they do so in long enough? They can. That's going to be Pasha down. Perhaps he comes up with a cooldown onto multiple heroes. EG getting very low. The Rockets fly in. Finish off there. self heal from some out. Try and keep himself alive. Quick blink as well to juke out some of the rocket damage. Get the rest of them away. So one for one. He will be fine with that. Which if they can get any more. They'll look to go with the ultimate. Arteezy wanting to fight, wanting to chase. But EG alone. They gotta watch out, yeah. Versus Tinker in those situations. They got hit by like a five-man call down, I think. Yep. If, if Tinker actually had Aghanims there, I think that would have been disastrous for EG. Nine rockets coming out from no one. Starting to certainly see the difficulties of pushing the time. Some ale coming round again with this haste rune. He does have exorcism, but the rest of his team already backed off and he will now do so as well. <laughs> Gets away. No one keeps the pressure high on the bottom lane. So 500 gold away from the enemies. Yeah. That'll really help them just finish up those finish up those kills. Ramsey's now does have the butterfly, so at least he's got a hell of a lot of movement speed to just run away from that. Lycan whenever he pops the flutter, and that evasion will kick in. Still very tough though for him. He's going for the Manta next to remove that haze. Shadow Blade for crit. With an even better chance of closing the gap for the blue stuns. Yeah, and to just maybe even hunt the Tinker on the sidelines. Yeah. Pass the axe complete. Pushes are certainly going to be hard if they cannot catch the Tinker to start off with. The amount of high ground defense this machine offers is quite insane. How's Universe doing? Okay, Universe does have the Blink Dagger now on the Tidehunter. I don't think we've... Have we seen a Ravage? I think we... Saw one? We saw one up top. Did we? Maybe not. Maybe we see, I, don't even think, I don't think we've seen one. I don't think he's had opportunities to really no. get it because of the way that the game has been kind of going on. It's just been like RTZ running at people with crit. Maybe they have one. I think they were, good. they were looking to try and do it up top, but he got silenced yeah, you know, by uh, the Rift. And either way, opportunity. now he has the blink, so he actually can close the gap and join his teammates. Solo. Been found by Smell. And Chris there to follow up. Solo is not getting back to base. They'll chase him. He'll try and get himself out, but Smell gets the final right. Godlike from his Death Prophet. From 0 3 on the Death Prophet, now 9 3. Brilliant recovery from Smell this game. Yeah. Both the cores on the side of the G, really stepping up in their aggression. 
DP. Still just trying to get that farm coming out. Night Stalker. One, 900 gold away from Agonims. Gyrocopter. Set going for the Manta. Tinker going for Hex as the next choice. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top That's tower. Nice. tower. Nice. Free town for VP. Very, very nice indeed. The AoE damage that VP can pump out if they get a, like a very like a very nice stream coil is pretty absurd. The nine flax on top of the Agnes Tinker can really hurt. And Ortiz has queued up an MKB next to deal with that evasion that he saw on the helicopter. And that razor as well, of course, a huge nuisance. Trying to chase for the kills. Yeah, we're interested to see how it progresses. I can see this one going long with the way that VP. No one top. Out. Universe actually commits the round. Oh. She's trying to get on. I mean, if they catch these heroes outside of the base, but no one's still going to be able to TP out. They oh. didn't have any other follow up. I mean, there's your ravage, but to, to no avail in mid lane, Samael. Caught out by Pasha. They've got the caught out. Oh, managed to get the blink off. Yours Blink gets himself out of range. Universe being focused, pops the mech. Chris there with a wraparound from the side. Universe out of mana will be forced back by the marching machines and the rockets. Definitely seeing the struggle of EG when it comes to catching the Tinker at this stage, especially with that, that little spell wipe still. Yeah. Some talent. You know, that extra bit of sustain. They smoke themselves up behind Ramses. They know there's no Ravage. They know the chip ship is committed to. Which is pretty well cool down, but... Down more money into the bank for Ramses. I like seeing the difference in talents that people choose because I was watching Matu's like it and recently I've been seeing him actually grab the alternative. He's been grabbing the 8 Feral HP region at 15 and the 16% Feral Impulse damage at 20. So just different priorities. I guess maybe it depends on the game too. In this game he really wants to have the shapeshift so he can constantly run down that gyrocopter. Up in the ultimate, that's easy. Ready to head straight down bottom with EG. Crit, trying to hunt out for a pick off with that Shadow Blade. Yeah, 50% uptime on that, uh, like an ultimate now, with that talent and the cooldown. So Melvi spotted out, Solo in the tree line, they'll drop down the cooldown. Samael and the universe getting caught out, Crit tries to put Link's down, didn't catch anyone. The lasers are out, suddenly this is fight. A little risky for EG, they have to respect the, just what, how much this team can do if they can't control him. Yeah. Like, if EG's under ward vision, they start getting getting hit by like four or five man rockets and lasers, and it just becomes a really big problem for them. We have a little bit of an audio problem coming in from EG. Yeah, no one is is playing this perfectly. They, they have to catch the Tinker. Going for a push when VP have their full team up alive, I, I feel like it's going to be pretty much impossible yeah. for, for EG. They have to get pickoffs outside the base. Yeah. So quick, quick little pause and we jump right back into it. As the pause fin finishes, uh, Solo does have the Aghanims finished up, and he has the gem on him. EG is stalking him. Grab, but he does see them for that. He knows there's a ward on that height. Just gonna jump on him. We have a crit, comes in, just a one-man crush, immediately gets dragged back with the telekinesis, Cold Embraces there from Fear. Well, it's time for crit. Dream Call just onto one, the Winter's Curse holds back Ramsey, Missile still flying forward, onto Crit, the Orbs there from Pasha, closes the gap on Fear, Fear's down. He'd be trying to chase for more, the Wolves at the moment sort of slowing down Ramsey's there with the body blocking, they have a homing missile inbound for Crit, VP really want to chase, they know that they can punish EG even heavier if they get the lockdown. Missile inbound and will connect onto Crit Samel. Jumps back in, with the siphon. There's the Ravager Universe, catches the puck and the Night Stalker. That's Pasha down. Arteezy pops the ult, looks towards no, but Lil, he steals the ult and he's running away. Some dog on dog action as Lil the puppy outruns his father. And the EG, they've found Ramses Ramsey. as well. They've got the Yule's catch. They'll surround the gyro, beat Hippy, popped by Arteezy as he mans up, brings down the gyro. Lil continuing to run himself away. Samael's hunting, he has the slow from the Siphon, VP, they've lost three, maybe even four with Lil dealing with this army, beating him down, Crit jumps in for the finishing blow, as VP lose four, no one, the last man left alive. EG's team fight with five is still, well, they, actually that was four, with uh, the mech and the pipe on the Tidehunter, guarding Greaves this time, it's a lot of heal, a lot of sustain, and the Ravage does clip, clip two of them, 
and then the exorcism starts coming into play. And you see Ramsey's damage in this. He can't get into the fights to really just pump it out. He really needs a BKB so that he doesn't get locked down or bursted in. And that's, that looks to be the next choice of his after that Manta was finished. Yeah, very, uh, I mean, VP seemed absolutely desperate to fight there. They were just chasing for miles and yeah. miles and miles, and that's always going to be risky when you know that the tide has ravaged. There's yeah. always the potential for that sort of turnaround play to come through. So. And exorcism, too. Yeah, the, both of the big ults were available. Fights, yeah. VP should have known that, but they still tried to go head first into that fight. And a pretty rare here. He's actually looking for Pasha here. They get the curse on him. They have enough control, though. He's still got the chance to face it. Orb is out. We'll be able to make the blink. Crit's hunting. What on the Oh, he's got the vision. Pop down the ward. They know where he's at. Pasha with the dream card tries to play his way out of there, but a quick gush from Universe. Damage from Crit takes down Pasha. 28 to 11. 7k lead now for EG. I think that was the gem that Pasha had as well. Because I see Crit holding it now. Or they may have, they may have gotten that one from the last fight from Solo, actually. Oh, but, but it looks like... Because oh, Pasha bought it sure, earlier, okay, and then he gave it to Solo, so... And with his axe. Back towards the pit, G not only finding a great team fight down bottom, yeah. a strong pick off up top, they go into the pit with one man down on BP, and uh, really they're the best hero at making some of the Aegis stealing plays gone, no puck. EG get this with no trouble whatsoever, that's Aegis, Cheese, and Refresher Shard, I imagine that's going to go the way of Uni. The refresher shot. Yep. It doesn't eat, so we are going to see that double double ravage being available. This next push that EG could come in with could have the potential of breaking the base. Yeah. In a pretty rare situation, I haven't seen it in like too much, but Ramsey's being one in seven in this game. He is getting incredibly punished from EG's. I life. mean, it's it's as you said, just how well the light can conceptually work yeah. the hero against him. Every fight, Arteezy's just been right on top of him. Lycan and Slada, it's just a nightmare for a Jara to play. Really is. If they're ahead. Looking at this, crit crit on the Slaughter has pulled ahead in net worth over Pasha. Fear as well, getting close. The scouting as well with Arteezy's walls, keeping eyes onto the puck. Even getting the first hit bash to literally rub salt into the wounds yep. from this salty fish. No one's about to have Hex finish. Oh, so the Tinker's still at the top. Yeah, he's still incredibly fun. Curse comes out, Fear trying to save his life, and he will be okay to keep you up. As I said before, and I'll say again, it's all on no one. Yep. He has to just keep this game going to the point where Ramses is able to get so that that's six slotted, seven slotted even at this stage. He it's really has just to saw the game. He yeah. can't be caught out on this Tinker. Mostly gonna be about these like big high ground defenses. And starting to build again a significant lead. They have both Tinker Wards up too on the Radiant's side of EG, on the uh, top side attack. and on the bottom side to watch whenever no one is there. Crit draws a circle around the whole map. He's like, this is our area. Illusions. I wonder what EG is sort of farming up for because I, I would imagine with these, with the refresher shot ages, cheese, they, they surely want to do something. Yeah, think they they're, have four towards me. I think they're just waiting for to push in the side lanes. Okay. Not not any like specific item. Sure, Arteezy is close to heart, which will be very nice for them to just like Radiant hit the tower back up, heal up, and the tower back up. Here. We'll get caught up by the homie missile. No one. But he's as well. He's shadow emulated. And they don't have detection. March could add up. You have to just run away, but oh, no, he gets the crush indeed onto no one. And that is the but that's the catch they're after. With no one gone, they know that they can push Ramsey's will manage to TP out. Split second too. Uh, so they'll blink on him with the Yules. So and that's straight down mid immediately. EG know there's no ticker. And the buyback comes out of the straight away. No one knows he has to be there to defend. You cannot let EG get away with a push whilst he's sitting on the sidelines. But still EG, they continue to stand their ground and go for it. Fortification comes out from BP. Tiffy tapples very low. Artie's got the up, Pasha jumps forward, quickly all back out. Get themselves the tower, but with the marching machines laid down, they have to get away. But now, there's this very scary bit of the game. If that Tinker goes down again, does not have buyback available, you, you see there how EG can easily push the base if yeah. there's no Tinker in the game. They even, Ramsey's even sells his mask of mad, or the, just the mask that he had, because he's, he, you know, he disassembled for the butterfly earlier. He sells it for the BKB just because of how defensive on the back foot they are. They need to just like, like okay, we really have to defend this high ground here. 15k gold advantage for EG over a 20k experience too. EP 
really in some trouble. EG now has full map control. No one is very afraid to really port out. He's gonna be able to port top for a second here, but he's at, he's at quite risk. Like you said, if he dies, the game looks so abruptly. He ran down mid. As you mentioned, Harp pretty much there for Arteezy. They've still got the Aegis Cheese and Refresher Shard. We'll see if EG about to go once again. Aegis gets to reclaimed to ending again. Very, okay. very shortly. 58 more seconds until that gets reclaimed. And that Hex is done on no one. Yep. 22 on the Tinker. Plan is from EG. But down on the bottom half of the map. Radiance nice. bottom shrine. Like the shrines. Attack. Yeah, they know the glyphs on cooldown too. If they want to just try to take advantage. Yeah, this is uh, this is the timing that they need to. Try to shadow blade it up. They actually see no one. Oh, you know, he never... finds the crush. Trading universe immediately with a ravage follow up. Have they got the damage? The second ravage comes through, catching three, and with no one down. We'll see how much EG can do with this, but this is an absolutely huge opening for them to find here. No Tinker for 90 seconds, and yeah, they'll just tap out. It's game over. Without the Tinker, they cannot hold. EG, they take the series 2-0 against VP. Yeah, I feel like the game ramped up so quickly. As soon as Crit got that Blink Dagger, it was just like kill after kill. EG yeah. was swinging with their momentum. They got very aggressive boards down. The Wolf usage by RTZ2, getting vision every time, and then...